We all know social distancing has been difficult and for some it has become really such an overwhelming new norm and especially when people have been staying at home and not seeing their friends and loved ones it's been really quite quite difficult and being able to celebrate social connections has had a lot of effects on our mental and emotional well-being so if you or anyone you know has been affected by this then please stay with me Hello, my name is Belinda and I'm the founder of Serene Lifestyles, an online psychotherapy practice. Please see the link below. Now, everything is two metres apart. Some are taking this very personally and as they are quite used to being social butterflies and especially those who are vulnerable with their health and most I know um, when we feel poorly, we want to someone there by our side and it's been difficult not having that person there. And it's been quite devastating for those who have lost um, their loved ones and or lost friends or the elderly due to uh, this horrible ordeal that everybody's been going through. It's so sad and my heartfelt condolences they really go out to those people that were not able to see their loved ones and say goodbye. But I wanted to help people through the process. So here are a few tips to help you manage social distancing mentally. So tip number one, it's okay not to feel okay. You are allowed to feel bad. You are allowed to have emotions that yo-yo up and down except that you're going to have a range of emotions such as sadness at times when you feel so overwhelmed and anxiety feeling anxious or whatever it may be some of these feelings may just spring up on you you might feel perfectly well and all of a sudden you burst into tears this is fine so no it's okay not to be okay and try not to be too hard on yourself in regards to it because no one understand that some days may be difficult than others and when you have these days or days like that and if you are on your own get in contact with friends or loved ones go for a walk outside and if you can possibly go over to meet them then make sure that you're able to meet them again keeping that social distance won't be easy but at least having that contact and people within that vicinity will help a lot so slowly but surely we will get back to normal just be patient with it and tip number two stay calm someone told me about an incident at their local grocery store earlier this week and the lady was standing um, close to the customer in front of her and he just freaked out and he was yelling at her about social distancing which was really quite upsetting and of course she took his abuse offensively. Um, this in itself can affect anyone who witnessed it and experienced it so it is important to stay calm if someone is in that position don't get defensive you must understand why and not take anything personally at all even if you are walking and someone is coming in the opposite direction and they move completely away from you and cross over don't take offense and if they're too close to you just politely remind them that they have to be two meters away stay calm and understand this is for your own safety as well as theirs and tip number three keep active it is so important to keep yourself in a routine of um, keeping active as this makes the day a lot more easier to get through and as time goes by the better you feel with structure now whether you're online working or going into work now have the momentum of what you would normally do in place and know the only difference is yes keeping that two meters distance but 
keep everything else normal as possible, like you're cooking, you're studying, you're reading, you're walking the dog, or whatever you do, med meditation and so on. These things help distract your mind and make coping a lot easier. Now, these are just a few tips to help support those who are struggling during challenging times. And if you wish to talk or you need any other professional advice, then please connect by clicking on the link below. I hope this video has been helpful. And remember, change your mindset and it will change your life. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care of your thinking patterns.